They call themselves fresh homes, but their customers say the excuses for not finishing the job are getting a bit old. Families waiting years for their dream homes. Now they've united to expose this building company. So tell me, how would you describe fresh homes? Stale homes. Chris Allen from A Current Affair, wondering if I could ask you a few questions about some of your unhappy customers. Yeah, mate, no problem at all. Not too fresh at all? Not fresh not at, at all. all. They're calling it stale homes, not fresh homes, because they say they never get finished. Yeah, well, they, we have got delays, mate. It's, Lloyd Payne is the boss of Fresh Homes, a company which promotes itself as being on time. Some of them have signed contracts back in 2020 and they're still waiting. Yeah, some of those guys have made changes to plans that we can't start until we've got a plan finished, you know. I signed my contract on the 18th of December 2020. And, wow, that's, so that's well over two years ago. Well over two years. Kerry Reid says the brickwork is finally up on her house, but she's still a long way off moving in. I'm camping in one of my grandson's bedroom and he keeps saying to me, Nana, when is that man going to finish your house? because I want my bed back. <laughs> and I said to him, I would like to sleep in my bed in my house too. But I can't. Yeah. We're advertising and advertising and, and there's just no contractors, mate. And then we can't, when we can get the contractor, it can be eight weeks out for concrete. We can't, we can't even get the concrete, mate. Do you buy their excuses? Do you think they're reasonable? No, because if I think they were organised, they would be able to rotate their staff and they would be able to get their tradies moving from one site to another. So, Laura and Brenton, this is all you've got at this stage? Yeah, That's this it. is it, yeah, unfortunately. But... And it's been well over a year since you signed up? Since we signed with them, yeah, it was November 21, so... In 15 months, Laura Byrne and Brenton Morgan haven't even got a slab. They've had a baby in that time and say they can't afford to rent, so have to live with family. There's too many other buildings going up around here by multiple other builders that, um, that are they're going ahead without a problem. There's whole subdivisions that have been built and people are living in them in the time that we've, we've owned this place. So there was some budget cuts that had to be made and... Um... Well, the toilet was the thing they had to suffer, really. Sophie Robertson and her partner Matthew Bythway say there were so many delays on their build, they made videos as a joke. Like this one, where they pretend to watch TV in their unfinished living room. Where's the hole? How long did it take to build your house? Two and a half years. I suppose they're tired of hearing the excuses, they just want answers. They're not excuses. They're not excuses. It's reality. You've reported on the reality. Mr Payne later sent us timelines for all the customers we spoke to showing extensive delays, including in getting materials and tradies on site, something customers like Sophie are well so aware of. Extensions of time from COVID, um, lots of different excuses. So you think it wasn't justified at all, that it took all that time to build? Not at all. We were the last block in our set of houses to actually be finished out of 2,000 homes. We made a massive loss last year paying for extra for trades and being gouged by suppliers and materials that just aren't turning up. So you're telling me these people are being unreasonable? Uh, to a degree, sometimes they are. But try telling that to Diana Whitmore and her husband JJ who say they signed up in December 2020 and put up with extension after extension and I'm paying 90% of the mortgage because we've paid all of those stages, plus $500 a week rent for, you know, uh, probably close to two years longer than it was ever planned. And it just, it's breaking us. We, we, we can't continue. Yeah. I, ju I just don't know what to do next. And I guess, obviously, these people are going backwards, aren't they? They're, uh, they're, we're both going backwards. They're, they're, they're homeless, though. They've got nowhere to go. Well, they have their rental properties, and they're, but they're paying rent. I understand they're paying rent and they're paying... Mortgages. They're, they're and... paying their mortgages. There's no suggestion Fresh Homes has done anything illegal or breached its contracts. It's the delays which has angered their customers. And what's upset them even more are figures which show the number of homes Fresh took on escalated from 65 to 168 the year the builder's grant came about. Is part of the problem here that uh, you've overcommitted yourself? That, no, uh, there was no, a, thank you for the, asking the question. 100%. No, no, no. We have definitely, 100% have not overextended ourselves in that period of time. And has anyone apologised to you? 
No, no, I was actually threatened with cessation of construction. So you went to the, the building watchdog to query what was going on and they mm -hmm. threatened to just stop work? Yeah, yeah. Never. This email from the building watchdog, the QBCC, shows that it couldn't help Kerry reach an agreement with Fresh Homes, so had no power to assist any further. Then there's this email from Fresh saying, unless the extensions of time are accepted, we have no further choice than to put the works on hold. So how would you describe the way you've been treated, Kerry? Pathetic, disgusting, um, certainly very sad. And financially, it's crippling you. Yeah. Financially, emotionally, health, yeah, everything is just affect, it's affecting everything. Yeah. It's, it's sucked all the joy out of it for us. And we, we really don't, we're not interested in it at all anymore. Yeah. So I guess, as I say, they're calling it stale homes. That must hurt. Oh, look, it does. People can be um, brutal with their comments. And it's, you know, I understand. At the end of the day, we're in it together and we're trying to get out of it. And we're paying, we're paying the trades what they want. Right, but even if they don't turn up, they, we, what do you do? Stay home. Fresh Home says it will complete all builds as soon as possible within the terms of its contracts.